Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do solve for x using a specific formula. Now, when you look at this formula, you should be familiar with the following path. b squared minus 4ac. We had used it when we had discussed nature of the roots. Now, this formula can solve any quadratic equation. Basic ones that you have previously done, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Where you can easily make your brackets x plus 3, x plus 2 is equal to 0, x plus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 3, x plus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 2. Now that is a basic trinomial where you had used normal brackets to solve. But what happens when the brackets are a challenge? In other words, if we had done Right, when we are given x squared minus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, it is quite clear that 1 can never make up the factors of 4. Also, if you do your b squared minus 4ac, which you had done in roots, in mistake, which you had done in nature of the roots, b squared is minus 4 all squared, minus 4, a is 1, and c is minus 1. You would have had 16 plus 4, which is 20. And if you root at 20, you will see that the nature of the roots are real, so they do exist, but they are irrational. Irrational shows us that we cannot solve it by means of simply factorizing. Therefore, we have to use the formula. Now, when you are starting with this formula, clearly indicate your a, b, and c. Your a is everything with your x squared, so a is equal to 1. b is everything that is with your x, minus 4. And c is everything that is left after you've done with x squared and x, in this case, minus 1. Now, when you substitute in the formula, x is equal to minus, so we have negative, and then we have b as a negative 4, plus minus, because that tells me I'm going to have two answers. Root, b is negative 4 squared. It is important that you put it in brackets. Many times, especially with the newer calculators, if you press negative 4 squared, you end up with negative 16. But if you press negative 4 in a bracket squared, you end up with positive 16. Now, we are not looking for the negative 16. The calculator does not read that it has to square the negative, giving you the incorrect answer. So make sure that you have it in brackets to get the correct answer. Then we're going to have minus 4, A is 1, and C is negative 1. It is all over. Now, the reason I'm emphasizing on all over is because many a times this is removed. Now, when you do that, you are changing the formula and you will be penalized in your marking. So you have to make sure that the division line extends from the beginning till the end. All over 2 into 1. Now, with the new Casio's FX82 ZA, all you have to do is press it exactly as it is. You can press it exactly as it looks. Now, if you don't have a newer calculator, then you can do the top, get an answer, and then divide it by the denominator. Now, if you are using the Casio's, you would press a button that looks like this. On the top, 
you will then press minus minus 4 as you see it but you would just press a plus and then you would press a root open brackets minus 4 all squared minus 4 open brackets 1 op close brackets open brackets minus 1 close bracket so exactly as you are seeing it is exactly how you type it in you would get an answer of 2 plus root of 5 then you go back now if you have the Casio FX 82 ZA you can just go up with your cursor go to the plus button and change it to a negative giving you your second answer two minus root of five now be careful when you're using your calculators because the main problem with the section is that pupils do not use the calculators correctly also when you are answering read the question if they say leave your answer in third form then you have to leave it as a root but if they say round off to two decimals and many a times in the matric exam paper they don't give you an instruction on the question so you have to follow the instruction on the original first question um, instruction manual which says round off to two decimals so read your instructions carefully when answering this question if they say in a decimal you're going to press the SD button on your calculator and you would get a decimal and round it off to two decimals or as per instruction. The formula is the most helpful method of solving for x if you have not yet mastered the concept on my left hand side because you can use the formula to solve any trinomial, be it a rational or irrational. Thank you for watching.